I don't know how to start a video, but I'm bootless, and this is Tumble Seed. Episode 1? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do multiple videos of this, but this is Tumble Seed. It's a roguelike that just came out yesterday, which is May 2nd, for those of you watching this in the future times. Uh, it's not really ideal to play on keyboard, but I am playing on keyboard. And basically the way it works is it's sort of a roguelike, roguelite type thing. And you just go around, you move up the mountain by using W and up. Like W and S control the left side, W, or uh, up and down arrow keys control the right side. And you can press spacebar to, oh Jesus, this is very hard when you are uh, using keyboard. Probably not ideal in fact. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Also, never roll that fast. That's not ideal. So basically, you can be different seeds, and you can step on these plots to do different things depending on what kind of seed you are. And right now I'm I'm the crystal seed. I think it has an actual name. It's crystal, apparently. So crystal is if you step on three of the iPads. That is uh, probably not the best way to put that. Three of the I plots. That's better. That's not gonna get me cease and desisted by Apple. Uh, crystal is step on three of the I plots and you get crystals, two of them. Then we have thorn vine, which is every plot that you step on gives you a thorn, a spike thing that comes out of you, but it costs a crystal. We have flag seed, which I, yeah, it costs a crystal. And it plants a flag, which is like a checkpoint, so if you die you go back to where you most recently planted a flag. And we have Heart Seed, which is collect four pieces by, you know, stepping on four plots and you get a heart, which is on the right side of my little platform here. So we're gonna switch to Thorn Vine. Try to roll our way over here. Gotta be like a little bit careful, because these enemies will hurt you, falling in the holes will hurt you. Let's just sorta... Oh no. Alright, just take it easy. Take it easy. And then spear that guy. Ooh, he gave me two crystals. I think at least these maggot looking guys generally only give you like one crystal, but they have the ability to give you two. So it's worth killing them sometimes. Trying to keep your economy up and whatnot. Uh, let's plant a flag at this spot right here. I wonder how well this would work on Steam Controller, actually. I probably should have tried that before starting this video because, like I said, controllers are a lot better for this. It just makes it smoother, you know, to, uh, to control it. Alright, let's get these crystal bits. Oh, don't, don't create holes, please. It's already hard enough. So it's a simple game, but very, very difficult. Deceptively difficult, I would say. That guy takes two crystals, or two spikes to kill. So I guess I'll just sort of sit here and... Nope, oh, okay, and that guy took what I had. All right, no, 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 oh, okay. At least we put a flag seed relative, relatively recently here. So that, that's pretty much how it works, you know? And I'm probably not gonna do too long of a video today, maybe keep these to like a run each. Oh god. Just leapt across the screen into me. Let's... We've got plenty of crystals, so let's build up a heart. I'm not sure where this is gonna spit me out, but I'll go down here. This is sort of like a shop thing. I guess in Isaac terms you'd call it like an item room. And you can pick up different costumes to be. I'm gonna go with the long spore, although I don't know what either of these do. So this one's three crystals to do something. Who knows. And we'll go back here. There are, up above in this room, there's like, uh, tutorial type things. So you can see what the seeds do. But, you know what? I don't want to do that. I'll figure it out. Don't, don't go in the hole. Don't, don't go in the hole. Okay. Let's gather some more crystals. 
We probably only need like one heart. If I'm being real. Okay. Again. Don't go that fast. I'm just trying to get away from this purple guy that's following me here. There we go. Uh, what do we need? We need thorns. Honestly. So we can actually defend ourselves against various monsters. Stop making holes. In my path. One thorn- oh. It's fine. Everything's fine. Go, go, go. It's very easy to like... You know, accidentally... Be putting these up with different amounts. On a keyboard. And maybe even on a controller too. That might not be exclusively a keyboard problem. Or maybe it just takes some getting used to. And it probably does, honestly. But it's a fun game. I haven't played much of it. I think we're almost done with the first area here. Let's get a spike. We have to hit that pad to go to the next one. So let's hit this plot first. Get another spike. And then I believe this is the first town area. There we go. So, for those of you who might be wondering, um, Stardew Valley modding series is not cancelled, it's just Stardew updated, and as a result, my mods no longer work, so I have to get that working. Plant for free while at one health. Oh, that's super cool. Or at least it sounds super cool. But anyways, um, Stardew Valley mods will come back. Just as soon as I can get everything updated and working again. Got a lot of cool stuff to show off. What is what does this do? Wait. Oh, is this a time trial? What am I what am I trying to do here, god damn it? I hope that didn't like actually cost me my freeloader aura over there. Oh no. Wait, is that actually a game over? That's... That's actually a game over. I didn't think that, that little mini game in that shop would kill me. But so we go. That's Tumbleseed. Um, hopefully I'll do better in future runs. Uh, you can go... Like, I only got to the first breakpoint, but that's like a quarter of the way through, I think. So, you know, it's a fun game. And you guys should check it out. It's on Steam. Like I said, it came out yesterday. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys all next time.